All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. We've got another Ash and Friends Series 2 Tops 10. So this should be interesting. The packaging is really, uh, the shrink wrap is really beat up, so I'm kind of curious about this, um, how, if there's any possibility that this was resealed. It's really ripped. There's also no Tops logos on the shrink wrap, so there should be seven packs inside and a box topper card. And this is series two. So we're looking for some of these insert cards, some sticker cards, some die cut cards, but mostly the clear Charizard card is what we're after. That's really the big hit out of here. It goes for like $500 on a PSA 10. So here are our seven packs and our box topper, Ash and Friends. So we've opened a multitude of these Series 2 tins and a Series 2 booster box. And I've pulled a lot of the clear-cut cards, but not a single Charizard. So this is our last opportunity. I, I believe this is the last Series 2 product I'll be opening. So we should uh, pray <laughs> for some good luck out of here. Electric Shock Showdown. Ride on. Haunter versus Kadabra. Team Rocket Cassidy. Our hollow is Clefairy and the Moonstone. And no insert out of that pack. So typically, you're going to get two inserts, at least, out of these uh, out of these tins. Usually a sticker and a clear cut, or a sticker and a die cut, or embossed card. Let me go ahead and put our Clefairy and the Moonstone in the sleeve. And I was just talking about this when I opened up the booster box. You guys may have seen that video already by now. Uh, but the booster boxes tend to have a little bit more issue with the cards sticking together in the packs because there's more weight on the packs in a booster box. They're more compressed. And with the tins, they're a little bit more free. There's a little bit less weight because there's less packs in there. So you typically don't have these issues with these cards sticking together, which make them more gradable, in my opinion, coming out of a tin. So this would be where we want to get the Charizard from. Marowak, the Ghost of Maiden Peak. Our hollow is a Dugong. As you can see, the hollows are usually the ones that are stuck together, but that was not stuck at all. Maybe a little corner damage up there in the top right. Oh, bottom left too. Not a big deal, though. We're probably not going to grade any of the hollows out of Series 2, unless it was a Gengar. Tentacool and Tentacruel. Got ourselves a shelter here. Pokemon, I choose you. Looks like we got a die cut insert here. I can feel it sticking out. Lick a tongue, a muck hollow, and we got a Caterpie die cut. So you can see what I've, I talk about this every time I get one. These are very hard to grade because there's so many points, so many edges, a lot of opportunities for whitening. Not what you want when you're grading a card. And these points are extra pointy on this Caterpie here. I think we've gotten a couple of those from series two. So still no sticker, still no die cut. There should still be at least one more hit in this tin. I feel like the tins are pretty mapped out um, to make sure they have a certain ratio of inserts or hits. You guys may have seen the video. I opened some Series 1 tins from the same seller, and two of the tins had exactly the same hollow hits, including a hollow Charizard. So... They're definitely factory mapped out to some extent as to what the tins are going to contain. Cubone, Voltorb, a hollow shelter, and a seal. No insert in that pack.
Island of the Giant Pokemon. Series 2 checklist. Electrode. Horsey. We got ourselves a Chansey. And a hollow Slowpoke. And no insert in that pack either. At least we're getting some kind of uh, halfway decent hollows here. Now I'm still waiting on my Topps Series 1 booster box. That seller seemed a little bit shady. I don't know if I'm going to end up getting it or not. I got it for under $1,000, which is a really good deal. And that seller had very low feedback. No negative feedback, but a very new account. Very low feedback, which is typically a red flag, but I didn't want to pass up on a good deal. Because I do want to open some top series one, but I don't want to risk like two thousand dollars on a box. Chancy, I would love a Chancy Hollow. I keep saying that. And our hollow is Primeape goes bananas. And no, oh wait, there is a sticker card. And it is stuck together. Polyworld. I almost missed it. Last pack, can we get one more insert? Showdown in Pewter City, there's a Gengar, it's not a hollow. Ponita, Kangaskhan, Krabby, Bulbasaur in the Hidden Village. Ooh, we did get another sticker. But of course, the sticker cards are the only cards that are stuck. And it's a Geodude. This is one that I actually have not gotten. Pretty cool. So still no Charizard. And that's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe for more Tops content. Next Strength and Pokemon signing out.